You're locked up, screaming to be heard by someone, anyone. Gun to the head, but no matter how loud your screams get, no one can hear you. I know this comparison may come off a little extreme, but for a creative artist trying to share their art to the world, this is how it can feel at times posting to social media. You spend hours, days, perhaps even weeks working on your best creation yet, locking yourself in the studio, pouring your emotions, blood, hard work, and soul into your artwork. Just for it to be seen by less than 50 people before being pulled to the bottom of everyone's timeline. As twerking videos and cringe dance compilations float to the top stealing everyone's attention. Before you know it, everyone has forgotten about your masterpiece or doesn't even recall ever seeing it. You're stuck, sad, and you lock yourself back in the studio hoping your next piece of art does better. You ask yourself, what am I doing wrong? Does my art suck? Was putting all my hard work and efforts into this piece worth it just for the 30 or so people to see it? I just want to feel appreciated for my artwork and efforts. Locked in your studio, you study the trending page to see where people are spending their time and attention. But all you see is stupid videos that leave you feeling brain dead after consuming, or maybe you're just salty and jealous of those people. They spent 30 minutes doing a 30 second dance wearing skimpy clothing to get 100k plus likes. Compared to your weeks spent just for 30 or so likes. So you hit the drawing board to come up with a 100 proof plan for your next masterpiece that can't be ignored. You incorporate everything you've learned. Revealing clothes that fit too small? Check. Some trendy song that you don't even like playing in the background? Check. Cringe dance content? Check. Short and straight to the point but not too short? Check. Long but not too long where they'll lose interest? Check. You come up with an idea that is unoriginal has been done so many times by every 15 year old on the internet and their grandma wanting 15 seconds of fame. You look at what you created. A Frankenstein creation that refuses to be ignored by the public and most importantly the algorithm. But you think to yourself, I've created a monster. You can barely find anything original or interesting in it. The more you examine it, the more you realize you don't even like it and you ask yourself, why did I even create this again? Oh yeah, to appeal to the algorithm, since my beautiful original artwork hasn't been getting any attention. Not to mention, that left you feeling unhappy, not good enough, and just worthless. Even though, compared to your new piece of art, the old one that got no attention was a thousand times better. It was original, honest, and just true to who you are. You loved it. You just wish others and the algorithm felt the same. This is the struggle for small or unknown creatives in today's age of social media. Whatever medium it may be, painting, tattooing, dancing, creative writing, music, and so on. Putting out beautiful pieces of original artwork just to be seen by no one, left feeling not good enough and no recognition for your hard work. Compared to the millions of unoriginal low effort content that seems to be loved by thousands of people online. But I mean, then again, that's where comparison gets you. There's a saying that goes, comparison is a thief of joy. Everyone's on their own journey, and your journey is your own. So why compare your journey to someone else's journey? They're totally two separate things. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. So now seeing this, we're willing to trade our originality, authenticism, and great ideas for watered down cookie cutter bullshit just to feel seen and heard by the world. Damn. I gotta re-record the last little bit of this video because I already recorded it, but the audio was messed up. It's a toxic relationship where great ideas get ignored and the dumb and hate-filled ideas get amplified. Where in the end, no matter how many likes your art may get, if you're not happy with it and you're not proud of it, it doesn't even matter. So this video is for every unknown or small creator, hoping one day they get a big break or the algorithm picks up their content. Let me end it off with this. Don't lose sight, keep battling the fight, but most importantly, Fuck the algorithm, stay true to you. Personally, where I've experienced this, my last five posts on Instagram got less than 30 likes. I think the highest was like 25. And I have like 1,371 followers. So if you do the math, 25 divided by uh, 1,371, I think it came out to like 1.8%. That means 1.8% of my followers are liking it. It's probably barely above that the percentage of people are actually seeing it. And there's no excuse for it. It's good content. I post that at proper times. 
it just it just doesn't make sense and you know that's kind of one of the reasons I made this video I was even talking to a friend and before I even mentioned this to him he's like bro I feel like Instagram shadow banned my account <laughs> no one's seeing anything and I was like bro literally I was thinking the exact same thing and then I was think about it and I'm just like well if that's the case if my posts aren't even showing to the, my followers if it's showing up to no one why do I even have an Instagram what's the point <sighs> it's frustrating for real